Well, I've gone ahead and taken the uh, all the spark plugs out, <clears throat> got the oil pan off, uh, taken all the rod caps off. Now, hopefully, I can take the mains off and uh, pull the crank out. I'll show you here the rod bearing that's bad. Got a nice, uh, nice gouge in it. Not exactly sure what happened, but I'm going to look at it when I take it apart. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it going again. Well, there we go. Cranks out. Uh, main bearings aren't too bad, but there's a little bit too much clearance there, more than I'd like to see, so I took it out. I'm um, going to go ahead and look at the crank, make sure there's nothing uh, nothing too bad on it. And if all looks well, we'll go ahead and throw new bearings in it. Uh, that's the rod bearing that was told us to... Oop, i got to check that. Make sure there's uh, nothing still stuck in there. Make sure the crank isn't scored. Let's see, it's this one. There's a little. Oh, it's the back. Duh. There, there's a little bit in this one. So I'm gonna have to look at that and then I'm go ahead and take the bearings out and put it back together. Well, I found out what's wrong with my crank. Why that uh, bearing got wiped out. There's four little nicks right there on this side. And if you go to the other side, there's four more nicks. I don't know if you can see them very good on this camera, but they're there. And then one kind of in the middle. So I'm thinking I probably did that when I put this together a few years ago, but it's just kind of weird. You know, all the others are fine. I didn't do that to any of them. Huh. Well, now I know why it's bad. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to fix it. I don't want to spend the money to get a new crank or have this one turned, so I'm going to have to figure out how I can salvage this. Hmm. I'll figure something out.